very, very high quality tennis. It looks to me as though Nicole Vydashova has forgotten to pack a first serve when she was putting her belongings in her racket bag. As you'll have gathered from the way I've spoken about her game, she really is much more comfortable, I think, on faster courts when it comes to singles. As a reigning champion here in doubles, she's no problem when she's only got to cover half the court. <laughs> Playing attacking baseline tennis, the kind of attacking baseline tennis that's really a trademark of, of players who come through the Bolletieri Academy. much the match and try to be aggressive and he did have a few unforced errors and that is the price you'll pay but it's a price worth paying if you go on to win the match as usually did yeah. at watching tennis and what more enjoyable way to do that she has all those skills at her disposal to get it wrong so love 40 and three break points for the double break for Nicole Vydashova yes, so she begins to serve for this first set And the second serve was huffing and puffing, and I think we can forgive her that, don't you? She's certainly a very unusual teenager in every other respect. The Stoza was pulled so far out of and it took their total tally of double titles up to 19 as a pair. Just as arguably their rivals as uh, as outstanding doubles teams in the women's game, <laughs> and a much more. Co <laughs> and the moment of imagination seals the, se the first set here for Nicole Vydashova. Took a couple of bites of the cherry, but she's managed it. She's taken the one set lead. Uh, percentage down at 47. That's going to need to creep up a little bit. Stoza around the 56 mark. She could probably serve a bit. Well, Stoza did well <laughs> to get that forehand back it's into off the play. Ground, open stance. And then really the work's already done. that the serve when she gets it in is uh, one of the key areas of success for Nicole Vydashova. And that's clever play. Very, very intimate courts like uh, this court number two here at Roland Garros. Not a great deal of space between player and crowd and that's what creates some wonderful atmospheres but can be distracting particularly for relatively inexperienced players like Vydashova. where she wants her and then there comes the killer blow shot or a cricket shot if you like those of you uh, familiar with the game played in England, Australia, and South Africa, and the Indian subcontinent. And the 
again. Back to Juice. No mistake on that one, of course. Result the smash in doubles than you do certainly in women's singles and Stoza making no mistake there. Contents. Contents. And yet she's still a set up. Contents. So aware of the way they hit the ball and how it feels as the, the racket leaves the strings. So for Sam Stoza too, dirty all. Quite a rally, and you can't fault the. And that will do nicely. And the wrong footing off forehand. Well, we see how pumped she is at this point. Contents. That was Seven. Contents. Contents. Too much to ask. <laughs> Finishing with a flourish, Nicole Vydashova. She's through to the fourth round. Last year's semi finalist has beaten Samantha Stoza here. The last woman Australian in the draw is out. And Vardashova wins 6-4, 6-4.